Hey guys, welcome to IT Army. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make UEFI bootable Windows 10 flash drive. So in case if you have configured the boot options of your laptop or desktop to UEFI, that is native UEFI, you must have a UEFI bootable Windows 10 flash drive. So that's all we are going to see in this particular video. Let's get started. Okay, so I have already opened this website called Rufus. You can go to this URL link I'll be posting in the description also and download the application from here. It's pretty small download and I have already downloaded this application and just simply run it. You don't need to just install it, just click once application. And I have already inserted the flash drive. I have already inserted the Windows 10 ISO. If you don't have Windows 10 ISO image, you can click the link over here and download Windows 10 ISO. So uh, I'm just going to provide the ISO image. And by default, you can see that it is going to format my flash drive in MBR partition that is compatible with BIOS and UEFI in uh, legacy mode. So if you want to have UEFI in native mode support, you must select MBR partition scheme for UEFI or GPD partition scheme for UEFI. I'll go ahead with the third option. And by default, you can see that it is going to format in FAT32 because uh, UEFI natively supports only FAT32. But using Rufus, you can also format your flash drive in NTFS. So if I go ahead and select NTFS, and then I can format my flash drive. Before starting, just make sure that you have taken the backup of whatever contents you have in the flash drive because the format, because the drive is going to get formatted. So I'll click on start and it's giving you warning that the drive is going to be formatted. I am fine with that. I'll click on OK. And now it's formatting in NTFS and uh, the ISO contents will get copied. So now over here, uh, NTFS uh, is not natively supported by uh, UEFI. That's why whenever you are manually creating the flash drive without using any software, you must format your drives in FAT32 format and copy the content. But this particular application, Rufus, it creates uh, some uh, fake partition and it puts some bootable uh, application or bootable content over there and then you'll be able to boot even in NTFS format. So this is going to take some time and I'll be back once this uh, installation is done, once this copying is done in fact. Okay, so the copy process is complete. It took around 18 minutes on my flash drive. And uh, as I said before that it's gonna create two partitions. For some reason it is not showing the second partition, the fat partition. But if I click on the logs, here you can see that it's creating two partitions. This is the first partition that is uh, uh, Microsoft basic data, that is the label. And second one is UEFI and TFS. Also, you can see the other partition from uh, disk management when I right click start, disk management. And here you're gonna see that there is a UEFI and TFS partition. It's of type FAT. Uh, here it's not showing anything. So uh, that's all for now. Uh, hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you in next video.